I would love to start the video with just an air horn sound coming out of nowhere. Swamp fire! Oh, <laughs> Medusa, hit us with the remix! That's me, Swamp Fire from Ben 10 Alien Force. Oh, shoot. These. Raven, <laughs> just come you, we have thrown the Simon in the volcano. Yawn, so what are we doing here, Tenton, my good old pal? Well, you see, Mario, on this fine day. All right, I'm bored. I'm leaving. Okay, get out of here. Before, before you do that, yeah, where's my money? Okay, on this fine day, or so I assume, we will be discussing the man, the man of ant versus a singular cell, and K.A. and Adam. So size doesn't oh. matter. Size has never mattered. Raven researched this one, so stuff's wrong. Yell at Raven in the comments, not me. Woo! Yeah, yell at me. All right, so Ant-Man's fate. He beat Dr. Doom to an inch of his life, bypassed Spider-Man's spidey sense to get the drop on him. Well, gee willikers, that's pretty impressive. Assuming like, assuming he scales the Doom at all, dear God, what that could go to is absurd. Though I also need to ask, is there any specifics around that specific feat? Like, was he, like, power amped at the time? Or, like, was Doom not in his armor? Like, what? Uh, I'm not sure. I only got, I went only went off of the, the title. You what? Ah, uh, yeah, like, I would have looked into that a bit more. Because, like, generally Ant-Man's not presented to be, like, a universal or, like, even continental kind of character. You know what I mean? He's generally more small scale. Which one can get smaller? Both. Um, both are both. really small. I'm I'm looking at the I'm looking at the comic in which this happens. Uh, he beats the shit out of Doom, rips off all of his armor, and strips him down to just his under. That that is very much true. Okay, so he legitimately beat the shit out of Doom. Well, Doom has his powers, and he was not amped up in any way. As far as I can tell, yeah. Yeah, because the context obviously matters. Also, which version of Ant-Man and the Atom are they using, Simon? Do you know? Ant-Man is Hank Pym, and Adam is Ray Palmer. Okay, so using the original interpretation of both. It's similar something to, like, like um, Aquaman versus Namor, to where Aquaman had a lot of advantages because he's just a more explored character, comparatively, while Namor is surprisingly underutilized in the comics. Adam's kind of like that, where Ant-Man is way more utilized, while the Adam's kind of a tertiary character. Seems like Ant-Man in favor. Uh, in terms of their abilities, like, obviously they both can do the big thing, they both can do the small thing, like, so, like, in terms of, like, like uh, obviously their power set is very similar, I wonder why. I mean, they both got, like, lasers and stuff, right? They share their palms or whatever, like, le like stuff, like lasers. Yes, they should. Okay. Um... I know that Adam could do like some kind of mass alterations, right? Yeah, he can he can alter mass. He can also create nuclear fission by manipulating the molecules. I mean, they both can kind of fly because Ant Man can ride ants. That's true. Or is or that? Like, I don't think that would be outside help. I think they'd go with it. It's not outside help. I'm trying to find his the sources. No, they their sources. Sounds like a death battle wiki. <laughs> That's a nice flame sound there, but I'm gonna need you to back up with some evidence. My evidence? I yeah, made it the fuck up. The fuck up. <laughs> Death Battle Wiki. My source is I made it the fuck up. Uh, in one of his entries under the New 52 universe, his uh, one of his abilities is stated to be pedagogy, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I looked it up. It's literally just the ability to teach. Great googly moogly. He can teach people? Oh, oh shit! Dear Lord. I can teach you how to read, boy. I will teach you how to drive. Oh, no. Adam's nuclear stuff that like Ant Man doesn't have could certainly give him an edge, but yeah. I, I I've generally heard the agreed upon winner is Ant Man, which is definitely leading me more in that direction. But yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely leaning towards Man because he's I think he's just got better. Like, listed feet. The Doom thing alone gives it a lot of credit, assuming that it's completely legitimate. Nukes typically win death battles, but. Yeah. <laughs> that top, yeah, if, if, uh, nuclear explosions have cost you two in the past. 
comics don't have a specified high growth, I think. Simon, I must question your accent. I must ask, who is, yes. who, what is your opinion on this? I know you were the most informed. I'm going to be Boy. using Nagato with a cowboy hat for every bit moment Boy. of this segment. No. Oh boy, it's I'm Joe. Dirty Dan. I'm Dirty Dan. I'm Dirty Dan. Dirty Dan. Uh, dirty Dan. Uh, I, dirty love, I love, love crickets. I'm gonna say the ant. Not the cocoa. You say the ant? What is the, yes. quite frankly, information that makes thou think that way, boy? Could we stop with this? Fuck off, liberal. <laughs> They're never portrayed in that kind of ridiculous, over-the-top nation. I would say they're probably somewhere from street to city. Like, I wouldn't assume it would be anything too crazy. I would I would say, ultimately, for, like, this matchup, there's not a lot to talk about, because it's kind of hard to know which one, like, which one could shrink smaller, which would give them, like, an advantage or if they can grow bigger. And, like, in terms of, like, for what, for me, I think Ant-Man has probably, likely has more impressive feats from what I have personally seen from researching. Obviously, the Doctor Doom thing is a really big thing. Apparently, and can make a force field that can survive a planet busting attack. I'm not too sure about that logistically, but, uh... Oh, planet level durability. <laughs> okay, well, that, uh, that might help. Yeah, Honestly, I think durability would probably be Ant-Man. Strength, you can argue it. Speed, you can argue it. Experience, I'd say Ant-Man. Intelligence, I'd also say Ant-Man. <laughs> Hey guys, I just realized something. Edmund has one feet over. <laughs> Edmund has one feet over Adam that he doesn't have. He's guy. I gotta leave. No. <laughs> I had to make the joke. It was right there. Yeah. Get in the volcano. Get in the volcano. <laughs>